Hello everyone, it's Kryptonite here and welcome to the ultimate guide to power in Foundry. So in Foundry, we've got two types of power. We've got high voltage power and we've got low voltage power. So let's start with the basics and we'll start with low voltage power. So starting with the very basics of the game, which I assume everyone is familiar with. And here you have the biomass burner. Now these are simple little machines that take, as everyone knows, biomass and they have a maximum output of 600 kilowatts each so we know how these work you can place them down they don't take any other resources apart from biomass and then next we can upgrade to the burner generators here which do take a different type of fuel and that is ignium ore so what we do with these we place these down we can put ignium ore as an input from some miners i've just got a little setup here with some storage just to showcase and we can go ahead and basically supply these with ignium ore and they will produce power at a maximum output Output of 1.8 megawatts so from there we will go into high voltage energy and the next step is steam power now steam power energy is a little bit more complicated to set up but it's definitely worth setting up as soon as you lock it so from here we need boilers and we need steam turbines and then we need a steady supply of ignium ore as the fuel but not only that we do need a water source as well to be able to provide that into steam power so as you can see here we have have a water intake which should be below the surface and then we have that pipeline going into our boilers now a really nice thing about the boilers is that you can daisy chain them so you don't need any pipes in between as you can see here and then from the boilers they will produce steam with the ignium ore and our water supply and that will go into here which is a steam turbine so with a little bit more information on that as we can see our pipe intake will take a throughput of 30,000 liters per minute now our boiler takes an input of 20 liters of water per second so with a little bit of quick maths we can work out that with one water intake we can have a maximum of 25 of the boilers so as you can see here i have 12 on this side 12 on this side and then we've just got one at the end here so if we just have a look here that's kind of the most efficient way to set up your steam production you want 25 boilers and then 25 of the steam power now if we head over and look at the steam turbines they max power generation of 3.6 megawatts now let's elaborate a little bit more on the high power grid before we have a look at the next stage which will be solar power so from your high power grid you will need to link them into transformers now transformers will transfer your high voltage power into low voltage power which all your basic machines need to run on there are some machines later on in the game that do take high voltage power so you can directly link them but what you want to do is transfer them into transformers now there are two types of transformers you've got your small transformers which transfer to 5 megawatts of energy or you have the large transformers which transfer to 25 megawatts of energy so if we head back here to our grid status we can have a look on our transformers or even our batteries or any machines that make power we can just click on this grid status so we can have a look at our grid system now we will dive a bit more into this and i'll explain a little bit more of this after we look at our solar power so there are two types of solar power we have our small solar panels and we also have our large ones over here now our small ones as you can see this one has a max output of 243 and we also have, have a valid sun angle and the current sun angle here now this is something to bear in mind because our small solar panels have a max generation of 300 kilowatts our large ones have a maximum output of 600 50 kilowatts now there is a little bit of a size difference now with the space it takes up for a large solar panel we can actually fit three of these small solar panels so with a little bit of quick maths you're probably thinking well then surely it's better off having loads of small solar panels in comparison to a large solar panel now although you would be correct that's not also the way because for instance of this one here the sun angle is at 47 percent so it's within range but we're only having a max output of 200 143 instead of the max output of 300 so we are losing a bit there if we head over to our large solar panels here as we can see the large solar panel has a maximum output of 650 and with the sun angle at 47% as we saw on the small solar panels we are taking a little bit of loss of power output but with the large ones we have a maximum output of 650 with the same sun angle so that is why the large solar panels are actually worth upgrading to 
even though we can fit more of the small solar panels into large ones now these work in the very same way as the steam we will need to go into a transformer so if you are going to go to solar power what i recommend you doing is having some batteries as well so you can store your power because when it comes to night time the solar panels won't be producing any electricity that's the only downside to them but that's why we have batteries so we can store our power so we have small batteries here and we have large batteries here so let's have a little bit more of a look at our power grid so as you can see here we have just a very small grid here and that's just the two large solar panels going into our batteries to store them and then we've got our transformers here and then low voltage grid obviously we have nothing on this grid because it's separated from the rest of them now on the small solar panels we will see the same thing because it's not linked to anything here we head over to our steam production and we click on the grid status here you will see there's a little bit more going on that's because i've linked it to my testing facility which we have all our smelters our researchers and everything now not a lot is going on here so we're not using a lot of power but we use this to basically explain how it all works so with our high voltage grid we have 25 steam turbines producing our power now that will go into two separate transformers i've got one over at my testing facility which is obviously powering this low voltage grid here and then we've got four transformers just here where we are and that's basically powering our drone miners which are providing our steam turbines and our boilers with igneum ore so as you can see it may look a little complicated but it's pretty simple to follow along so now if we go ahead and we connect all of our systems together just like this may head over back to our grid status just like this as you can see it's made it a little bit more complicated or complicated looking shall i say so we've got our main high voltage grid which we've got our solar panels and our steam turbines now you will notice that our steam turbines have actually stopped working because the solar power has taken over and that is basically because the solar power is unlocked a little bit later on and it is more efficient so it will automatically dictate what is the most efficient power output that we can use and as you can see it goes to our four different grids that we have here and same as before we have this over here which is our testing facility and then we have over here our drone miners and everything which are linked to our small low power sources which your biomass balancing and burner generators which aren't producing any power because they're not needed and then our other two power grids here that we haven't actually got anything to run into so just a little recap we have our low power grid which is our biomass burners and then our burner generators and then we have our high power grid which will transfer into low power with our steam turbines and our boilers and then our our solar panels over here so hopefully you found this video helpful and power is a bit more easier for you to understand now now if you're looking for another video to watch i have a let's pray series which i have recently just started so feel free to go ahead and click the video you see on screen and now and follow along in my let's play series so don't forget to drop a like on this video and let me know in the comments what power you think is more efficient whether it's steam power or whether you think it's solar panel so it's been kryptonite here Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.